Super Smash Brothers, a dream series where Nintendo characters of all shapes and sizes come together to battle. And ever since Brawl was the inclusion of Sonic and Solid Snake, the floodgates have been open for nearly any video game character to take part in the act of smashing each other. And it's the characters themselves and which ones can make it in that are arguably one of the most exciting Smash topics to talk about. And I want to throw my own hat into the ring and discuss my own top 5 characters that I want to see in Smash Bros. Switch. As well as discuss what their moves are going to be if they make it in. Coming in at number 5 is a character that I don't want for any personal reason, but because I've heard other people say that we need more villain characters in the roster, and I think we could also use some more Donkey Kong characters, I think it'd be great if we could bring in King K. Rool from the Donkey Kong Country series. He would generally fight the way most heavy characters would fight, but then maybe for a small projectile move he could use his crown or his pirate cannon that he uses in the first two games. For his recovery, maybe he could spawn two Kremlin minions to vault himself upward, and for his final smash, maybe he could do something barrel related, where he throws a bunch of barrels into the sky, then rain down on all the characters, and if anyone gets hit by a barrel, then they become trapped, or spread around causing damage while on the side, and the attack will conclude with the barrel shooting the characters off the stage as best as possible, and obviously, the more damage anyone has, the further they get launched off the stage. For my number 4 spot, I'm kind of cheating a little bit as I'll be talking about two characters, but I think it'd be interesting if either Tails, Knuckles, or possibly both of those two joined in the roster along with Sonic to bolster the Sonic representation. Tails' music will walk around his gadgets and his working tools for both long range and close range combat. His recovery can just be him ascending with his tails until he runs out of energy, and his final smash can evolve from using his flame, the tornado, as a screen targeting move similar to Zero Two Samus's. As for Knuckles, he could be similar to the Mac where he can hit hard but is still a somewhat speedy character, and to make up for not having as much power as the Mac in order to set the two apart, Knuckles would have better air mobility, such as his recovery being that he can glide for a short time, and maybe he'd even have a new ability, and by new I mean new, I mean new to Smash Brothers, where he can climb up wall for a few seconds before falling off, as a lot of Knuckles' gameplay in the Sonic series involves along climbing up walls. And for his final smash, it could be a transforming one where it becomes Hyper Knuckles, and basically all of his moves and his speed are greatly enhanced similar to the Kamiya and Mario's final smashes. For number 3, seeing his muscle hero Sakurai is the main man behind Smash, I think it would be cool to add in more characters from another game series that he spearheaded. And I think a fan favorite from the Kirby series that could be added in would be Bandana D. Though starting off as just a Waddle D that wore a bandana and was presented as a boss but was still just easy to defeat as a normal Waddle D, as it will likely die in just one hit, Bandana D's popularity has grown so much that he's basically become the fourth main character of the Kirby series next to King DDD, Mennonite and of course Kirby himself. So at this point, why not include Bandana D alongside them in Smash? And as for what he can do in battle, Bandana D's weapon of choice is a spear, so he would use that for some middle range combat with some close range multi stabs and some moves where he can extend the spear out far. For his recovery, he can throw the spear around rapidly to act as a kind of helicopter propeller to help him float upward, while everything that falls onto the propeller gets struck multiple times. And for Bandana D's final smash, he could either perform some sort of ultimate spear combo and the opponents that he kids in his first initial strike, similar to Link's Final Smash. Or what would be more interesting would be if he could just stab the opponents and send them flying into a special Final Smash zone, where an army of Kirby enemies dog prowl the opponents, and to end the attack, Bandana D, who is now riding in a giant warblim called Cabula, motions his spear to signal the bunch of fire on the fires buried underneath all the Kirby enemies with the triple laser attack, blowing up the horde and the fighters, sending them all flying. Coming in at the number 2 spot, I'd love it if Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 made it into this latest smash. While on the surface he may be another source brand who would act more like Shulk, the way those swords work could be different enough to help differentiate the two. Where Shulk's Monado would modify all of his stats, Rex's sword, the Aegis, has the ability to change its entire form, so maybe in doing that it would change the range and strength of Rex's attacks. 
where with his red sword he would have a shorter range but deals slightly more damage than knockback, and his white sword has a longer range and is faster but then it's obviously not as strong. And instead of having a counter move like Shulk's, Rex's down B could instead be a barrier similar to Pit's shield from Smash Wii U. But the barrier wouldn't be created by Rex himself, it would come from his partner character that follows him around during the battle. And the reason for this partner character being there would be because technically that character is Vex's sword in a sense, and that character also powers Vex up as the battle progresses. And as a result, this character would change to match the sword that Rex is currently using. So if Rex is using the red sword, it would be Pyra, and while he's using the white sword, it would be Mithra. And for his recovery, it could be the hookshot that Rex has, but unlike other hookshots like Lynx or Samus's, since it would be his recovery and not just a grab, the hookshot line will be longer and if it is able to hit a wall, it will bend itself on the wall and then Rex can pull itself up to reach up higher. And if the hookshot does hit the top of a ledge, then it will just pull Rex right to the ledge like other hookshot moves. And finally for his final smash, it could either be a flurry of sword strike similar to Kirby or Link's final smash from Smash for you, or, more interestingly, Rex would swing his sword at all nearby opponents, and if they got hit by this initial strike, they'd be warped to our final smash area, where Rex along with Mithra would bang down huge rays of light from the sky to bombard all the fighters caught in the initial hit, and once the cutscene ends, all the opponents are sent flying. And finally, the number one character that I want for Smash Switch is Sora from the Kingdom Hearts series. I feel like he would be a good addition to the roster as he's already the star of a game series that brings goofy characters like Disney together with, uh, relatively more normal characters like Final Fantasy. I mean, Cloud originally made it into the last Smash and he's a square in character just like Sora, so it's not that far fetched. As for Sora's moveset, his standard A attack will revolve around his Keyblade, and for his specials, he can use different kinds of magic. For recovery, he can use flow motion, which in simpler terms allows him to ba basically perform magical parkour tricks. And he can either create a small grind rail made out of magic that he grinds on and then jumps off the end of. Or, to make things more simple, he could just be a super third jump like Will's Linus recovery. And for his final smash, he could team, team up with Donald and Goofy to perform their ultimate team move called Trinity Limit, where they all attack the enemy's store cart in his initial sword swing to initiate the attack and it would end with them enveloping the enemies in white and that will eventually blow up and send anyone who's caught in the explosion flying, even anyone who wasn't specifically caught in the animation in the final smash to begin with. So those are my top 5 characters that I would want to see in the next Super Smash Bros. game. Do you agree with any of my choices? And which characters would you want to see get in? Leave a comment down below, and if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. This is the Popstar Champ whooping out and I hope to see you next time.